What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and this is my review for P Valley Season 1, Episode 1, Perpetrating. And the P stands for Punani. Okay, now this is a very new show on the Stars Network, and it's sort of like a TV version of the Players Club, except it's not very funny, it's kind of bringing a realism to the women that live this life. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and bang that bell. I'm trying to get 30k subs, and please, if you enjoy my reviews, hit that like. Let's get into it now. We see that it's some type of major event or something because it's all type of flood and stuff and we see this woman um and she's going through luggage finds this id we don't know if it's her or what um she's on the bus and then she just gets off the bus and just walks off and people the bus driver like where you going girl and then we see the lady and she's changing her hair and now she's at this club called pank and this is one of them hood clubs you got women this is what they call with the bullet hole gunshot wound strippers but we see that they actually putting in work she got a busted head she said somebody had their drink on the stage she fell whatever so now we see the young lady from the beginning who is autumn night we learn to later learn her name and she trying to get in but it's 30 for women 20 for men she say well take this 20 and i give you my email he said take your fake beyonce looking ass on over there he wasn't trying to play and that dude looked like drake on steroids now she saw it was a 50 dollar big booty contest so she went in we later see that drake on steroids more like roid rage he don't play he tossing people out left and right if they get too handsy we later introduced to the main person of the of the club named uncle clifford and we see that it ain't all sweet in mayberry and he gotta give the cops a bag of cash to keep things cool now he trying to get the ladies info for the big booty contest and they come up on her she say all the night they like oh okay you sounding all poetic she actually wasn't dressed for it so she had to get dressed that's right we see the star of the club is this woman named mercedes but she gave him a little note talking about mercedes last dance and she about to retire uncle clifford was a little sad when he heard that news we didn't know why though later we see at the big booty contest that autumn night is doing her thing but then she got flashbacks of some traumatic incidents and and it's really haunting her but nevertheless she did her thing shook what she mama gave her won and then she talking about um how do i work here do i fill out an application and so everybody laughed mercedes tried to throw a little hate but he said hey actually you don't fill out an app but it is an opening and what you worried about it for ain't you leaving so mercedes a little show little little shook you know what i'm saying because it's competition it's some new blood everybody afraid of a cute yellow girl with a big booty that's competition you know what i'm saying you got to be careful with the competition so he gave out the little slip talking about what you worry about it for anyway you out the door and her friends didn't know so she was salty later we see autumn night in the room getting drunk by herself looking at a picture of a young girl when she spilled her drink on it she was like hurt bad so i'm assuming that's her daughter or something so she got a lot of trauma going on and later we see it's a church scene and we see that mercedes is there and all shows she's there she's not really feeling it and she get up and walk out even though she gave some money and mercedes is strapped even junior had to look because i mean oh my goodness now the thing about the dirty delta where they are is it's a one horse town literally but for some reason they making a lot of money but uncle clifford is mismanaging it because he behind on the mortgage and it seemed that they tired of it and you see the lady running it she ain't trying to hear it no more and he gave him and raised a little fuss and when he was on the way out now we see mercedes and it sounds like she talking to the military or something about what they need to do and we see she talking to some girls and she like training young girls to be uh cheerleaders or something and then her mama show up puffing on the vapors she got the vapors and then she talking about i can't believe you and your booty money but everything was all good when she took a little piece of that booty money 
Meanwhile, we see that Uncle Clifford, instead of trying to figure out another way to come up with the money, he raising up the prices on what the girls got to pay and they percentages. So they all the girls salty. They talking about Mercedes ain't paying out her fair cut on Mercedes Sunday. So she get up talking about, well, I'm about to bring it down this Sunday. So don't worry. And then we see this new character, Quinn, um, from Power. She's in the show and uh, she's getting into a She's in an abusive relationship. And uh, she, her name is Keyshawn, a.k.a. Miss Mississippi. And so then we see Uncle Clifford drop some game on her, talking about don't let nobody mess with your moneymaker, girl. And you need to get out of that relationship, basically. And so we'll see what she ends up doing. Now, later, we see these group of dudes pull up in the Hummer. They want to be rappers. They local celebrities. And he trying to get in. And uh, you see Roy Rage ain't trying to have it. And we see that this uh, rapper her name is Lil Murder and he decided to get back at the back of the line that line wasn't actually that long and so we see inside that Uncle Clifford gonna make Mercedes mentor the new girl and so he she like I ain't doing that she say unless you gonna trade places with me and babysit uh, so she ended up taking her under her wing reluctantly. Meanwhile, we see in the back Miss Mississippi, aka Keyshawn, breastfeeding her baby. And then we see Drake wannabe Roy Rage. He's sitting there and he like, hey, look. I could take care of that and so we see dude ain't no punk he he ain't got no problem with it and he catch a body and she like hey look i don't want you to catch no more bodies and she pretty much was doing the right thing because even though dude is wrong she don't want that murder on her conscience later we see little murder and he going around thinking he the man throwing up money or whatever in the air and he see miss mississippi and i mean she do got some skills i mean damn i don't know if that's really her or what but yeah she was she was doing the damn thing and so he in the vip and he spots mercedes he tell her to come and he's showing her the bag of money she like that ain't nothing but two three four bands you know you need this you need that he like damn it's like that well if it's like that maybe i'm gonna get her and so she see that uh oh the competition creeping up and she like you know what how about this i do this and do that and maybe you know maybe both of us he like yeah okay so she supposed to be getting four bands but she end up telling her we about to get two one for you one for me so she was in turn gonna keep three and only give her one but we see that autumn night wasn't you know comfortable with that but she say hey look you supposed to be under my wing now you better come on and make this money so reluctantly she go they start doing the little show they doing their little thing and showing the little tickle bitties this one dude start getting a little too excited he get a little too handsy and so while he getting handsy we see drake well uh, want to be roid rage he right there at the moment's notice ready to toss and uh she like no nah, everything copacetic and so he end up being cool now we see later she in the extra vip room the vip vip and then little murder trying to get her to listen to his music she like i ain't playing this on my show uh-uh i can't shake my booty to this he like what she like i ain't messing with you i got music integrity and that was something i would have never thought i'd have heard <laughs> but anyway so while all the night by herself mr hands handsy pants then came and got handsy again so they end up getting thrown out while they getting thrown out little murder trying to find what's going on he bump into you know what i'm saying the boss boss man and he like hey i was trying to find uh you know the girl show tell, shorty tell her you know what i'm saying i apologize and he like uncle clifford like come here and they come into the separate room because he couldn't hear and lee like so what's your name he like little murder he like oh that's all you do is little murders he like no i got some big to murder and so next thing you know we see they moving on uh son next level now meanwhile autumn night is out in the back and she you know going through some things traumatized by what happened and we see little uh weird old people tom over here and we come over there and come holler at her and she like uh kind of defensive this dude got a camera he kind of looking suspicious and he kind of you know pretty much was seeming like a regular dude and she had tried to see if he wanted to smoke she like nah and she like you want to come inside i don't he like nah i don't need no more vices and so they exchanged names but he ain't really try to come at her so she kind of liked that meanwhile we see uh uncle cliff 
then gave the DJ the music a little murder. And the DJ like, man, this Mercedes special mix. I ain't messing with that. And so he basically told him, put it on. So when Mercedes come on and the music playing, she stopping just mean mug shorty so quick. He changed the music. He like, remix. <laughs> and Mercedes come out doing her thing. And boy, I'm going to tell you, it's the reason why it's called Mercedes Sundays, okay? And one thing that uh, while she was doing that, you see her mama in the audience and it kind of threw her off she wasn't expecting that and we see later out in the uh, in the uh parking lot mama is like you know please save this hoe and you out there people giving you your they rent money and cog notes and you taking it and this and that and she putting her down but once she gave her that money mama stopped crying got up and walked on and got on the good foot meanwhile we see later she over here talking to the DJ, talking about what the hell was that playing the music? He like, talk to your boss. And then she look at Uncle Clifford and he like, here's that money from Little Murder. And so she gave the money to her and Autumn Night, Autumn Night, and counted it up. She didn't already corrected a couple people on their grammar. Now they show that she can count and break down percentages. So they kind of thinking she bougie stuck up. Meanwhile, Mercedes show. They like, how you show on Mercedes Sunday? And they said, oh, your mama didn't came met you with that uh jesus stuff again and so he ended up taking a couple stacks and giving it to her he like she like i don't want no handout he said this from little murder and so it pretty much he probably was lying now at the end they ask her where she going she said east but she pointed to the wrong direction so they don't know they know something is up with her and they just don't know what now it's time for some real talk now as far as this episode i think it's pretty good episode and the show is interesting it's showing a kind of a serious side of what these ladies go through like in the beginning when you see mercedes she's actually practicing on the pole and you see his hard work it goes into it man it was another part of the filming when she was on mercedes sunday and she climbed up to the top they kind of silenced the episode and you could hear how hard it is that she got to climb all the way up to the top and doing what she was doing and you could see today this woman put in a lot of work and they also showed like this one white girl and how she was saying she she slid and how she had a pole burn and stuff so it showed that it's just not all easy get up there and shake your booty and make money that these girls do put in a lot of work it was also kind of messed up to see that her mama was not being a good witness to her and using the lord's name in vain in a way to get money and put a guilt trip on her and i thought that was unfortunate and lastly that situation with miss mississippi i think that um that was just pathetic any guy that's beating on a woman or whatever I think that's weak and I mean I, I can understand why dude would want to take him out but that ain't gonna really be that's two wrongs and that ain't gonna make things right I think she do need to find a way to get out of that relationship and uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works out because at the end of the episode she was getting back in the car with dude again and so I mean I just hope that she's able to get out of that situation and everybody is is still alive at the end um so what are your thoughts on this episode and if you all are wondering it's not a nudity field show they had very few scenes of nudity a couple flashes of some boobies and they showed this dude's booty cheeks but other than that <laughs> it's not a nudity field show and it's not something uh you know over top or comedic it's kind of a serious dramatic look inside of the behind the scenes world of what some of these women go through so i don't know what are your thoughts are you interested to watch the show let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next episode Peace.